This episode of Our Wyoming Life is sponsored by you. To all of our generous supporters through Patreon, both Aaron and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To learn more how you can support this channel, please follow the link in the description to our Patreon page. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Our Wyoming Life. All's quiet now. You can hear the crickets chirp, the peacock crow occasionally, and there's not much of a trace of the noise. The controlled chaos and the many hours of work that took place in this very spot just a few hours ago. We're done with branding for this season. All the calves have been vaccinated. They've all gotten their fly tags. They've all been branded. And even the bull, t bull calves, they've been banded. And now they're back with their moms. Back on pasture, and soon headed for summer grazing. It's just another step, something we do every year to keep our cows healthy and to keep our herd productive. We live stream the whole branding process from beginning to end, and now I have a chance to give you the highlights and answer some of the questions that we may not have gotten a chance to get to during the live event. So sit back and let's take a look at branding 2017. The day started early. Mitch was due out at 6.30 to help bring the cows in, but when I went out at 5.30, a lot of the cows were ready to go. So, even though I didn't wait for Mitch, we started the live stream right at 6 o'clock. First, I put out some cake, something to entice the cows to stay put in the lot, from which we were gonna move them into the sorting corrals. Then, it was just a matter of heading out on the four-wheeler and moving all the cows toward the cake I had just put down. Once all the cows were in, I noticed a little fence that needed fixed before we could trust these guys alone. And keep in mind, in between each step of moving and sorting the cows, we like to give the cows and everyone helping a little chance to rest. Also, it's when you can catch the cows being cows. Once all the help arrived, it's time to bring the cows into the corral. The next step before sorting the moms from their calves. Again, I use some cake to bring them in and hold them in place while all the other cows are persuaded to join their friends in the corrals. Let's cows go. are social and they want to be with other cows and it's not hard to move them. You just have to make them think it's their idea to go somewhere. One issue that we did run into was the fact that when we brought the cows in, we found the neighbor's oh, oh. bull had gotten into right, our cows the there, day before. Bitch. We had to sort him off and put him in a different pasture so that his owners could right. come and get him. That being done, we let the cows and the calves rest for just a few minutes before we get into sorting. Once it's time to sort though, we begin separating the moms from the calves. Calves go into a corral while the moms are sent around the loop and back out onto a pasture where they'll wait for their babies to return to them. Once all the calves are sorted off the cows, it's time to get to work. Everyone that came out to branding this year, about 30 people all together, gather around for their assignments. Not everybody helps, and that's fine. Some people are here just to hang out and have a good meal. But I do like to let everybody that wants to help, help. And I like to let people cycle through the different stations. But honestly, most people get into a groove and like what they're doing and stick with it the whole time. We have about 150 cows to get through, and once we get into a groove, we just flow. There's a lot to do, starting with the folks in the back, 
behind the calves. But, uh, Their job uh, is to push the calves the up and into the crowding tub, which then moves the calves to the scale and the calf table. Once a calf is ready to go onto the scale, Mitch and Bill get the calf in place. We note the weight of the calf, and then it's moved into the chute. After that, things happen fast. Let's check it out. That was pretty quick. A lot happened all at once, so let's break it down. After the calf comes into the chute, it's caught in the head gate. Now that is a tricky job. Like it it's all about timing, and Nick, a local electrician who owns his own electrical and contracting company, has it down. He's done it a couple years now, and his goal this year was not to let any calves sneak through, which he accomplished. Good job, Nick. After the head gate has the calf, it's a quick squeeze in the squeeze chute. Oddly enough, studies have shown that calves are calmer when they're being hugged tight by the chute. After the calf is caught and held tight, a flurry of activity commences. Two shots are given to the calf. Pyramid 5 with pre-spons, which aids in the prevention of many bovine viruses, including bovine influenza and respiratory viruses. Then a shot of 7-way, treating gastrointestinal bacteria. They also get a dose of nasal gin, which they breathe in through their nose, inoculating them against another type of influenza. They also get a new ear tag, this one with an insecticide to protect them from horn flies. The cool thing about putting the ear tag on the calf is that throughout the summer, the calves are always rubbing on their moms, which protects them as well. Some calves, if they're suffering from diarrhea, also get a medicine to combat that as Hannah will explain. Yeah, no doubt. If they have scars, which is pretty much like cow diarrhea, you put the pill in the back of the pill so they can't spit it out, and that gives the medicine to where their feet or whatever is getting the scours doesn't affect them anymore. As we continue our work on the calf, the next step is to okay, ban so is the, the bull calves. Concept. Here Sam works on that. Sam was actually the first kid that I hired as a hand on the ranch. I've known him since he was eight years old, and as soon as he was old enough, he came out to work for me on the weekends. Since then, he's graduated high school and joined the Army, where he's now stationed in Hawaii. We are lucky enough to have him back this year on leave. We're very proud of him, and we're very proud of what he does. After the band is on, the testicles will fall off in a couple of weeks. Some people knife castrate their calves, and some use bands. There are good and bad points to both. But in the long run, a castrated bull calf or steer is easier to work with 
and will grow faster due to this procedure. After Sam has the band on, the calf is turned back on its feet and it's time for branding. We use an electric branding iron. They're made by l &H Manufacturing in Mandan, North Dakota. They stay hot and we don't have to keep a fire going to keep them that way. Branding is a long-standing tradition in the United States and it's used to identify cattle all the way from ranch to slaughter. Wyoming has thousands of registered brands and ours is one of them, the A-Bar. Simple and easy. Sam takes the iron, presses it quickly to the calf's side, then a spray of Catron is added to prevent infection and keep the wound clean as it heals, usually within a few days. As all this is happening, Stephanie People is keeping like records. Well, I am... As they come through the shoe, I am taking their tag number. If they don't have a tag, we set a, assign a tag number. We say whether they're at the front here and their weight. If there's any special notes, Once we're done with that one, Nick opens the gate, allowing the calf to head out as the next one heads in. Even Gunther, our premature first-born calf, gets the treatment. And he's very calm about it. One more step. Probably because he's used to people. He spent the first few days of his life in our care. Born premature, he was nursed back to health and kept in the barn with his mom for the first few weeks of his life. I'm glad to say he's now out and with the cows and doing fine. Now, not all goes according to plan. Some calves don't want to come out of the chute, and some protest being in there in the first place, as Sam found out very quickly. But he's fine. A kick to the cheek from a 250-pound calf can't keep down the 25th Infantry Division. He's back up and back to work. The cycle continues for hours. One calf out, one calf in. Over and over, until we get down to the very last one. Then, it's time to reunite moms and calves and make for some happy cows. Another successful branding. And as the cows head out to pasture, we thank you for supporting us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.